So Pav, um, you're building a really interesting business. So tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, so what we're doing is we're building AI agents for finance operations automation. Uh, specifically, the problem uh, that we see is with MSMEs. Uh, they struggle with a lot of their valuable business hours being spent on uh, finance admin tasks like bookkeeping, manual closing of the books. Uh, typically, the month end close is a period of huge stress and that might drag on to the time of year and compliance and filing. So we bring in uh, automation tools to close that. Um, we built autonomous AI agents which are grounded with a lot of training by CPAs to have very high levels of accuracy. So how long have you been building with AI in, in starting this business? Uh, so it's been, I would say, uh, roughly around 18 months for us in the journey. And what sort of problems have you come across that you know, have sort of tripped you over, have surprised you as you've been developing your business? Uh, so, okay, if I were to just you know, call out uh, three things. Uh, one, uh, for me, in the initial days has been a lot about uh, validating, right? So even before we built, it was, for me, I would say like the first three months was purely working with prototypes, going out, talking to customers, and getting as much as customer feedback as possible. Uh, this also from coming from my previous background doing similar frameworks, because one of the traps that founders can fall into is build extensively and then figure out that, hey, actually no one wants to pay for what you're building. So one of the things I kind of wanted to validate early on was that willingness to pay. And um, I do see that uh, we are in that interesting space where we can actually cater to companies of all sizes. So when you're talking to and selling to companies which are like micro SMEs, long tail of businesses, they have very specific uh, pain points. At the same time, the sales cycle can be quite short because they are a little bit more, uh, I would say, early adopters, more interested in exploring new solutions. But then when I take the same technology and then sell it to a larger company, a finance team or an enterprise, there, you know, there becomes this huge layer of compliance, security, privacy, that is you know, additional barriers that you don't want to necessarily think about from day one, but you still want to build your solutions in a way that it can become scalable and you can actually move up the value chain. Yeah. Yeah. And so how has Stripe been helping you on your journey? Uh, so yeah, we are, um, you know, I think very lucky to have gotten a lot of support from um, Stripe. Uh, we do connect, uh, use Stripe as our primary gateway. Uh, we process our clients' subscriptions via Stripe. Uh, we are currently also exploring some use cases around reconciling our clients' data in an automated fashion by directly integrating into Stripe. And yeah, we just uh, recently got part of the Stripe Startups program. So yeah, that's exciting to see that Stripe is uh, doubling down on like startups and getting all of it. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thanks so much for telling us about your business. And I hope you're enjoying here at, at Stripe Build Day Singapore. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. Thank you.